What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over how we can create an alert box in Xcode using Swift and as you can see right here I have the emulator running and when we click on this increment button it's going to give us this alert box. It's going to say are you sure? Are you sure you want to add one to the count? And if we click on add one it will update the count and if we go ahead and click on cancel we'll also have a log down here that says we cancelled that action and that we can also go ahead and add another one. But with that being said, let's go ahead and create a new project. So go ahead and use a new project. We're going to click on app and then click on next. And we're going to call this alerts two. And of course you can call this whatever you want. And I'm going to leave everything else as is. Then I will click on next and create this project in my desktop. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and change this to an iPhone 13. And then we're going to click on resume so we can get the display running. And we're also going to close the sidebar because we will not be touching that. Now the first thing we have to do inside our content view is create two variables. And of course this is going to affect the state so we need to refer to state var and the first one is going to be a showing alert boolean which is just going to tell us whether we're actually showing the alert or not. And of course it's going to be set to false originally. Then our second variable is going to be just a count so we can keep track of the numbers we are incrementing. And that's going to be set initially to zero. Now inside the body, we can go ahead and remove the hello world at a backslash and inside there we will insert the count. Then of course we also want to increase the size of this text and I forgot to click on resume so we can see the changes. But uh, let's go ahead and add the font after padding. So font.system and we need to specify a style which of course is going to start with the size of 40 and a weight of dot bold. So now we have a very thick zero there. And inside here we're actually going to go ahead and add a V stack so we can put everything in a vertical alignment. So just go ahead and copy the text and place it inside there. Then right below the text, we're going to go ahead and create a button. And this button is going to be called increment. And we're going to use this button to call our alert. So what it's going to do is toggle the showing alert and set it to true. Now, right after that, we need to go ahead and type in dot alert. And inside here we need to type in is presented and we're going to remove these other two and leave it only with the binding boolean. And to provide this binding boolean, we're just going to add a dollar sign and add the showing alert boolean. And adding this dollar symbol is going to turn it into a binding boolean. Then we're going to open up a block and insert the alert element. So the first thing we have to insert inside here is the title, the message, the primary button and the secondary button. So we're just going to use this placeholder and for the first one we have a text which is going to be set to are you sure? Then we need to specify a message which is also going to be a text and this one's going to hold are you sure you want to add one to the count? And then of course we have a primary button and a secondary button. So starting with the primary button, we first have to go ahead and choose whether this is a default or a destructive button. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and use a destructive button, which turns the text red so that the user knows they're performing a destructive action. In case you want it to be normal and not in red, go ahead and type in default. Then as the label, we have to go ahead and add a text, which is going to say, add one. And since we also want to perform an action, we're going to go ahead and add a pair of curly brackets. And inside here, we're going to go ahead and refer to the count and increment it by one. Then all that's left is to fix the secondary action, which is the secondary button. And here, all we have to do is delete this part here and add the dot cancel. And all the dot cancel does is tell the program that the user just didn't do anything. They clicked on the cancel button so they can exit out of that. And we're going to add a block just to show you that you can also add some code inside here if you want. And I'm just going to add a print statement that says canceling action dot dot 
dot. And in case you get this error, it's because Swift is very, very strict and it wants us to add a space right after the plus equals. But if we actually go ahead and run the program, we should have done everything we had to. So the app should run quite nicely. So now we started the program. If we click on increment, we're going to get this box with a red section and a blue section. And if we click on add one, it's going to increment it by one. If we click on cancel, it's going to call the canceling action. And as you can see in the log down here, it canceled it. And if we change this to default, you're going to notice that when we rerun the program and click on increment, we're just going to have a blue sign over here instead of a red one. So it doesn't look that destructive and the user knows it's a safe option. But with that being said, guys, that's actually all I wanted to show you in this tutorial. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.